Hello tech friends. Today, an unusual device. This is called the Exec Helper, or at least that's what it says on the front. And if I flip this over on the back, it's the Exec Helper 8200, 8200. Wow, can you believe there's been uh, 8199 versions before this one? We've got a reset button down here and it takes four batteries made in China. Okay. There's not much else on here, though, is there? But uh, on the keyboard itself, uh, you've got your full sort of QWERTY layout. Then you've got your calculator section down here and a few what look to be sort of function buttons. Um, so what is this thing? Well, the actual details on the Internet are pretty scarce about this. I've done as, as adequate a job of searching for it as I possibly can. I saw it on eBay and I thought that looks pretty cool. And the only thing I can find... Um, our other eBay listings for this device, but I didn't get it boxed. I didn't get any instructions. So um, it's been a bit of guesswork. So let's pop the back off Get some trusty batteries in here And I can show you what I think it's supposed to do Pop that on Imagine this sat on someone's desk. Okay, it's already switched on. Uh, there's a little on off button on here Here we go. So um, you can see down here it says dictionary and address okay so i guess it's an address book and a dictionary right i mean right so let's type in a word uh tall uh, and you don't press search you think you would but you press enter and there we are we've got the word tall i mean it's found that i know that's a word and then if i press up and down i can go through other words talage Talaged. Talaging. But there's no uh, definition of the word or anything like that. It's just really confirming uh, that you that it is a word <laughs> that you found. So if I clear that out and I put in W-E-A, for instance, again, you're tempted to press that search button, but if you press enter, weak. <laughs> and then you can just scroll through the words. Weak and a uh, weak fish. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm certainly learning new words. Uh, weak fishes. Uh, I mean, you've got to have more than one, I suppose. And you can have weakish. Um, so what else can it do, though? I mean, well, as a dictionary, I guess it can look up a word. And if you don't spell it correctly, it won't find it. So if I type in the word banana, but I spell it banala, and I hit enter, it does... A search for a long time and then it says not in memory so there you go so you can at least look for a word and uh, and it can tell you that it can't find it so that's fair enough um, and I think it can use wild cards as well let's try that out so if I say banana again we always say banana we put a question mark in there and then press a so that's our sort of wild card letter and then I search it finds banana which is useful from a crossword point of view. So if you've got some of the letters in the word and you think to yourself, oh, I can't be bothered to figure it out. If I just put in the letters of the word and, and put in the wildcard question mark in for the letters, uh, then you might be able to figure out what the actual word is, as long as it's in the memory here. Um, I can only guess when this was actually released. What do you think? Late 80s? That sort of styling looks sort of early 90s to me um okay what else can it do then so that's that is all i've figured out with the uh, dictionary um if i just start typing a number though um it comes up straight away as a calculator and you know we all know how a calculator works right um uh, yep yeah, there we go thought that was the case uh, so the numbers all add up we've got memory recall and minus and plus and percentages and all that sort of stuff so uh, that works um and then if I press enter, it goes back into enter word mode for the dictionary. So that's sort of switching between the two functions. But the bit, I will say, that has confused me greatly is the address section. So if I switch it over to address mode and we switch it on, let's have a little look. So I know what you're thinking, surely, with an address book, that should allow you to type in someone's name, record their address, and then be able to search for it, mate. Maybe even their telephone number. That would be useful, wouldn't it? Um, well, let's let's see, shall we? Uh, so, firstly, it starts up and it says enter name as opposed to enter word. Makes sense. So, uh, let's search for anything 
that begins with A or has the letter A in it. I press enter, nothing happens. So enter doesn't do the same thing that it does in the dictionary mode. If I have to press this search button instead, and then it says the end, as if it couldn't find anything. Let's try another letter, Q. It does a good job of uh, displaying the letters considering how small the display is, I think. Q, no, we've got nothing in there. Okay, right, fair enough. Well, we have just turned it on, so um, that makes sense. So we let's try and add someone then. So how do we do it? Well, we've got these buttons down here that say recall, store, search, clear, scroll, next line. If I just start typing in a name, uh, let's go for Poppy. Oh yeah. Um, and then should we press store? Oh, nothing seems to happen. If I press recall, it says no data. That's different than uh, the end. <laughs> and now if I type in, Let's type in Poppy again. And then I press store. Now it says stored. Huh? Okay, so if I, now I'm back, kind of back at what I think is like the search menu. So I press P and then I press search. Hey, Poppy's arrived. And then it keeps going past it. And then it says the end. And now it says enter name. Okay, right. So um, let's have someone new. So what was that button combination I had to press there? Not sure, let's try Alfred. All right, let's keep it very British. Let's let's say Alfred the Great. So not a not a terrible uh, keyboard to write on. No, that is literally it. I can't fit any more on there. Um, so you, I, I guess you might press next line possibly to go to the next line, and then you'd have a batch. But I just can't figure out at what point you're supposed to press that. So okay, let's store that again. Nothing happens. I'm pressing store. You think? storing would store something if i press recall it says no data and then what i press i type it again i can i tell you what this is like one of those um logic puzzles uh which you know if you were given if you were given this as a gift one year maybe 1990 christmas 1990 um, and uh, you didn't have any instructions with it, then you would probably be quite frustrated by Boxing Day, I would surmise. Okay, so now when I press store, it stores it. Huh? What's going on? Uh, let's search for everything that begins with A. Is Alfred the Great? And then it says the end. Okay. Um, fair enough. Uh, what if we add something that's got another A name in it? So um, let's try Andrew... Famous Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Hat. Yeah, he seems like a bit of a legend. Let's store that. No, again, store doesn't work. Recall says no data. Is it trying to confirm that that person doesn't exist? And then it's saying, uh, okay, well, then you can add it, but can you type it in again, please? Um, store, stored. So now if I press A and press enter, no, again, nothing happens. Search, Alfred the Great. And it moves on to Andrew Hat, and then it says the end. Um, so, okay, sure, I may not understand how this thing works. I mean, it says address. So if you're going to put in someone's details as an address, you'd put in their name, you put in the number of the house, you put the name of the road. But if I start typing in um, a name, so if I say, uh, who should we have? Um, uh, Mike E. Mikey, um, and I store that. No, nothing's happening. Um, press recall again, type in Mikey. Um, and then if I press store, it's going to save it, right? So um, let's say Mikey lives at 70 uh, space uh, the road. The space road, okay. Oh, now it's starting to scroll across. Now that's interesting, isn't it? It's almost as if I started to type the name, it recognised I typed the number, and now it's now we're in Scrollsville. Can I press next line now? No, that doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, space, um, here, where can Mikey live? Mikey lives here on Mars. Mars, Mara, clear, Mars. Okay, now I store that. Hey, it's stored, great. Can I just cycle through these names? If I just press search without typing anything in, it will cycle through. Look at that. Mikey. Oh, look. It's got, it's got his name, but 
the number is on a different line. Okay, so if I... Whoa, have I actually figured this out? Not Probably not. Whoa! Oh yeah, look! I hit recall. Just as it found Mikey. Boom! Shack Alaka. And it says uh, 70 the road. Can I scroll through it somehow? Yes, look! I just pressed next line and it showed me the next... The next line. Ha! Huh. Let joy be unconfined. What a system. Okay, so you can save an address. You can save a name. Um, oh, I think that's very cool. Um, so, yeah, when I was trying to search for this, what I did was do a reverse image search, right? You know, the whole Google lens, uh, take a photo of it and then search for it. Um, and the eBay listing that came up was this one. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so, but there's no there's no information on here. If I scroll all the way down here, it says uh, vintage exec helper, electronic organizer and calculator. Very good condition with few signs of cosmetic wear. Come with notice, but not in the box. Uh, no battery provided. OK, so that is, that's your classic. But oh, well, come with notice. Maybe I didn't see that. Let me just have a. Oh, hello. What's this? <gasps> Possibly some instructions. Oh, my gosh. What does that say? Dictionary. On the left and display will show enter word. You can search for words having the same prefix. Example, rec. Press the enter button, uh, which will display the first word that begins with a letter rec. Yeah, display will show dash, 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 dash for a moment. Then the first word in its memory that begins with the letter rec will be displayed. Hey, that's great. What about how to use the address? Uh, the address function. Is that, is that, a, is that a thing? It doesn't. Doesn't look like it, does it? Ah, annoying. I mean, I'm not buying this one just for the instructions. That is crazy talk. Well, there we go. That is the exec helper. 8,200. I'll be amazed if you owned one of these. And if you did, tell me all about it. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.